Well, I guess to kind of start off things, you last night at the Q and A, you brought up your your history at Kabuki and working as a, as a child actor. But I want to know, um, you've known the Chiba family forever, the Japan Action Club, and yeah. What was um, what are your fondest memories of that? That was kind of your childhood into, you know, a young man basically. Yeah, I yeah I started acting when I was five years old, and I'm just. Watched uh, American movie, European movie, and I wanted to do everything by myself in the future. I thought, then, uh, when I started acting, my mm, my first role was a son of yakuza. Mm. Then my father played by Sonny Chiba when I was five, mm. and then he created the uh, Japan Action Club when I was ten or eleven years old. And then he asked me, uh, "Do you fancy doing some action by yourself?" And then, yeah, at that time I find it finding the I was finding the uh, nice place to get the skills. Mm. So I said, "Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I will join you." That was the beginning of you know started training. What um, I know, you've worked with uh, Mr. Wada on a lot of films. We yes. now, thanks to like Roku and Netflix, we can see a lot of those films. Um, what was it like working with him? And you got to kind of vary your your acting choices. There was a lot of variety in those characters. Mm -hmm. What was it like working with him? Yeah, it was a great experience for all our movies with him because. Um, he believing in my acting skills and also the, my physical skills. Even if it's a drama or comedy, yeah, always he requests me to the next step, next step, and then using all all of my skills in the movie. So um, I've done a lot of movies <laughs> with, <laughs> with him, but uh, I was so lucky. That I could met him. Um, yeah, he's a, a great director and also illustrator too. Mm -hmm. So um, when we shot the movies, every day you know he wrote the continuity mm -hmm. <laughs> and on the wall, and, and it was so fun. And he knows a lot of movies and the histories, everything. So um, he always trying to something new. Because mm. he, he has a lot of library in it, in his head. So if we creating something, and oh, I, I saw this in the past. <laughs> it seems like that movie, bro, bro. So let's change, change, change. So always, wow. yeah. So never maybe anything. So creating his own world. So so fun working with him. Mm. Yeah, I really enjoyed. You know, you're um, you're one of the few um, people that have been on the Royal Shakespeare Company doing King Lear. And um, what was that experience like? That really kind of put you on the theatrical map. That was a huge deal. Yeah, it was the biggest challenge in my life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I've done some theaters and including the Shakespeare. I've done Romeo and Hamlet in Japanese language. Mm. And then when I've done Hamlet in London, the Nigel Hawthorne, who played King Lear, and a producer came to our, sh uh, our show too. And then at that time they, f they were finding the Asian actor for the fool mm. because the fool is a Aryan in the castle and then after they watched my Hamlet they came to my dressing room and then asked me do you fancy doing fool in King Lear with us and then, oh my gosh <laughs> my first answer was in English <laughs> oh my gosh and uh, yeah I was shocked. Oh my God, can I do that? And I couldn't answer immediately because the language or schedule, everything. But yeah, 
at the end of the conversation, the producer told me that, oh, wh wh what are you thinking about? You are an actor before you are Japanese. Mm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's true. I have to challenge, I thought. Mm. And then I heard the gong in my head. Okay, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I started training for the Shakespeare in English. And um, it was my first experience to speak English in front of the live, live audience. Wow. <laughs> Especially the Shakespeare English, you know. So I was like, oh my gosh. But it was a great experience. We spent seven months together. Mm. Um, we, uh, we played in London and Stratford upon Avon. Uh, it was amazing, amazing experience working with the uh, British actors and I was uh, only an Asian actor there mm. so every day I was so excited and I'm nervous people nobody knows about me you know who's that Asian guy <laughs> oh <my gosh. laughs> can I get the uproars at the end or not so it depends on my performance every day so it was when I was my um, when I was 40 years old so I returned to the student at that time <laughs> wow so forget all about the career in Japan and just newborn actor on stage so that experience changed my life you know I realized how interesting the, the mixing culture and making something new no one ever see it's so hard and difficult but so interesting and important for the future I, th I thought so after that I started to finding the international project like that yeah, yeah so that experience changed my life is that something do you feel a calling to is that why you don't mind expanding to different I mean you've done like You've gotten into animation with How to Train a Dragon. You've done Speed Racer. I mean, yeah. you go to many different links. You've been on TV. Is that, is that something you're passionate about? Yeah. Right after the King Lear, I've done um, one Japanese movie called uh, Twilight Samurai. Mm. And after that, right after that, I received the um, role for The Last Samurai. Mm. It was the first Hollywood movie for me. And then at that time, okay, there there is no wall between east and west. Mm. Or if there there is the wall, uh, I thought we, we have to break the wall and make a bridge between east and west in our generation. Mm. Yeah, that's why I moved to LA after that, and then just continue in the international project. Well, you've done you've done a lot of work since then. Um, what was it like being able to to work off like Sir Anthony Hopkins, mm -hmm. and um, I mean, now with with Mr. Holmes, you've done Ian McKellen, yeah, and you worked directly off these great actors. You were with Colin Firth in The Railway Man, yeah, a lot it, of British actors, yeah, somehow. yeah, Ray Fiennes in yeah. White Counters, yeah. Luckily, I worked with the great actors and the directors. I'm so lucky, and then. I can learn a lot from them. Mm. Was there, uh, with like, I guess White Countess and, and uh, City of Destination, James's films, yeah. um, what were your fondest memories of those? Because those were kind of, I mean, you guys shot in like Argentina, you shot all over the kind of world with those. That, that must have been fun. Yeah. Um, so much fun. The White Countess, we filmed in Shanghai. Mm. So... It's like uh, all lodged together. <laughs> so every weekend we went to <laughs> dinner and drink something. And we had a great teamwork. <laughs> and also the city of your final destination. We filmed in Argentina, a little south of Buenos Aires. Mm -hmm. We shared the same estancia. We stayed at the same big house. So we shared the kitchen and dinner table. So every night we had a dinner together and drinking wine, Malbec, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, talking, talking. So we, we created a great teamwork. It was like a family. 
so that's a uh, the production color of James Ivory mm. yeah so uh, I was so lucky you know that experience uh, yeah changed my <laughs> mind you know they they were so welcomed for Asian actor so no border there so what was it like being able to do a film then like Sunshine where Danny brought in a very international cast mm -hmm. a cast of people like you who've been groundbreaking in opening up their homeland to to the the arts it yeah. seemed like Danny's film was really encompassed you know mm -hmm. so much it was a worldly film exactly and it was a very international <laughs> cast <laughs> <laughs> and um, we had a lodge together the first two weeks of the rehearsal we shared a, a, a real student house uh, we had a small room just a bed and no TV just a desk and bed and then we share the kitchen and then we spent two weeks together this is kind of like us spending a time in this small spaceship long <laughs> long time so that was a uh, the direction of uh, Danny Boyle he calculated that no generation no nationality no religious no eye colors you know just you are the crew wow <laughs> like that so exactly we we were like a student and then that worked uh, when we started filming on set we, we didn't need any conversation or jokes or something just be on a character just living there just breath and talk so was it quick then quick but doing many times mm, mm. The, doing the one thing all day oh, wow. full shot so many times full shot from this angle medium shot close up and change the angle same thing from the master shot boom boom so all the time that's why you know he can create the more authentic yeah. real moment he can use every shot yeah, yeah right so that's a great experience you know spending long time for rehearsal and creating the newest script together then on set just living there just be an account it's like a you know not like a m movie acting it's just a <laughs> was it th more theatrical like yeah yeah the rehearsal was like a theatrical but on set just like a documentary wow that's so fascinating. yeah that experience was great it's, it's crazy I'm, I'm staring at you I'm like it's Dogen it's the others leader of the others I'm crazy about this oh yeah um, <laughs> do you mind if I ask about uh, were, were, did you watch Lost before you got the role I did not everything but mm. uh, I was always checking the new show or something what's going on and then yeah th that's why when I get the offer and a surprise oh my gosh <laughs> I'm gonna end <laughs> that big show <laughs> oh my gosh well you've you've kind of kept with TV you were in Helix you were in um, uh, the show with Halle Berry extent yeah, extent yeah what do you like TV is it the speed of TV what, what do you enjoy about that I was scared of course mm -hmm. because the, the speed is so high and uh, you know I cannot receive the script until you know <laughs> three four days before shooting so i was so scared but yeah it was a good training <laughs> for me <laughs> yeah but uh crew and the cast helped me a lot so i was so lucky wow do you mind if i just ask like even theatrically or, or maybe even tv is there a, a character you would love to tackle is there a role you would love to put on stage maybe or, or in the future yeah yeah oh everything every role which I've never done before of course but 
you know, this few years, some kind of mysterious Japanese man, or businessman, or mentor, like that. So, yeah, I'd love to do some comedy or any kind of role, of course. Like slapstick comedy or witty? No, what we I, I love the、uh, situation comedy. Like, okay. Yeah. Oh, love comedy, of course. <laughs> Or sometimes action comedy, like, you know, Rush Hour, of course. But I like the situation comedy, you know, playing seriously and just the audience laughing.、Mm. I, li- I like that kind of taste. Wow. Not the slapstick. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm, I'm curious, you, you were in Dallas for City of Destination.、Um, I was five years ago. Yeah. yeah.、Um, I, I know your time was short then as it was. Now,、um, where have you been able to, to, to go in Dallas? What have you been able to see? Oh, in Dallas? Yeah. Oh, I couldn't go anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> But of course, I saw the place for the Mr. Kennedy.、Mm. Mm-hmm. And、uh, yeah, a few restaurants, some Italian. But not having the barbecue or T bone steak yet. Not yet. Yeah. So you've got to come back. That's not. I should. I should. You should just try the barbecue. We should do a barbecue tour with Hira. That'd be hilarious. Yeah. I'd love to. I'd love to. <laughs> for next time, I'll come here for a long time. A few days. No.、Nah. Only one night. Well, since you've been in LA, do you, do you explore the US at all? Do you travel in the US?、Um, not a lot,、mm. but a few places.、Mm-hmm. As a pri- private, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a few places.、Uh-huh. But I have to discover more and more、mm. if I have time. Yeah, I'd love、wow. to. Well, Hiro, we, we appreciate you coming here to, to Dallas. And My pleasure. It's been such a, a fun experience. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. The、so、barbecue、much. next time.